everybody uh, welcome to my channel nana and um, my name is lynn um, a very warm welcome to you and uh, if you're a new subscriber thank you very much and if you're a returning subscriber it's lovely to see you back today's video is just a very small clothing haul and i am going to do a try on but i thought i'd do it a little bit different to how i normally do it i will show you the items first there aren't that many and tell you what they're made of what size they are where i got them from and then i will do a try on show you what they look like on but first of all i have two pairs of shoes that i want to show you so i'll show you these first and the first one is from marks uh, from uh, next but it's dune i wanted and i have been looking for a long time for a comfy pair of nude pointed toe sling back small kitten heel shoes so i sent for these um and these are in my size no these are 37 they didn't do a four and a half in the dune so i had to go for a four and i do feel like they could be just that little bit too small so anyway i will show you them on but i don't want to take this off because I'll probably be sending them back because I don't think they're going to be comfortable. But anyway, I'll show you those. So those that they're doing, they have this really nice shiny heel. It's only this big. Probably two inch, if that, maybe only one and a half. And this beautiful pointy toe detail and suede, suede with this lovely crossover your foot strap. So that's one pair, that's Dune, but purchased from Next. And those shoes were £80. £80. So the second pair of shoes that I ordered, again, from Next. Um, but they are um, NZ. Nurse. Naturalis, I don't know, anyway. These are also a four. Can't seem to get a four and a half. If anybody knows of um, a comfy pair of nude, pointed toe, small heel shoes in a foot where you can get half sizes, please will they let me know, anyway. So these are leather. And these are 125 pounds. And they've just got the sling back. They haven't got the, the um, strap across the foot. It's just a sling back. But it's adjustable. Adjustable. So um, I'll show you those on as well. I really, really, really want a pair. So like I say, if you know of any that are really comfortable, let me know. So those are the shoes. Both from Next. Now, the next one is a dress that uh, I don't think I've shown it to you, but I got it um, to go on holiday with. And it's this dress from Roman. It's long. I'll just pull it up a little bit. It's got a split up the front, but it's not too revealing. It's 100% viscose, so it's very, very lightweight, very, very comfortable. And I got this in a size 12, and it, this is the petite. But what I liked about it was it's got this gathered waist here, and you can. I don't think you can pull it in, this, but it's got this tie detail. It's got a lovely V-neck, quite broad straps across the shoulders, which I like. So you can still hide your bra straps. And gathered at the back as well and it's a beautiful green print really really nice very very pretty for your holidays so yes that was roman i can't remember how much it was uh, i'll have to look back and if i can find it i will put the um the price of it on screen or i will link it below in the description box so yeah that's that one these are just some leggings that I bought because my legging, you know, I, I love to wear black leggings, especially when I'm indoors. Um, but they go grey after a while, don't they? So Tesco, and I like these, the ones with the broad 
waist on. Can you see? And I've got these from Tesco in a size 10 because they do stretch uh, and they were only £7. So I'm going to replace all my black leggings one at a time. So yeah, that's what those are. I love Tesco leggings. So I've got those. I also purchased this beautiful blouse. I wanted a white blouse. I really wanted a long sleeve one, but they didn't have any that I liked. So I, I got I settled for this one, but I wanted one with pockets and I wanted, um, I like this neck and I did like this gold button detail down here. It might look silver on screen, but they're actually, I think they're gold. Yeah, gold, I think, yeah. So it's got the two pockets, the granddad collar, V-neck, and I got this because I think they're oversized. Uh, it was £12.50, and I got that in a size 10, because look at the size of it. It's massive. Not too long, so I'm hoping I'll be able to tuck and bag over. So we shall see. And that's just going to go with loads and loads of things. Anyway, that blouse is 100% polyester. So I think that's uh, that's going to be ideal in my wardrobe. Neutral, go with loads and loads of different things, style it up, style it down. So that's where I got that. Also, from Tesco, <laughs> I got this uh, jumper and it's, I think it's navy blue and cream, like an ecru cream. Beautiful. Short sleeve because obviously spring's coming now, so I don't want everything to be long sleeves. Very, very lightweight and comfortable and cosy. Really soft. And that jumper is 70% viscose, 30% nylon. So yeah, I got that in a size medium so the small medium large extra large and it was £12.50 so again look lovely with jeans pants nice I think I've already shown you this on a shopping haul but I haven't shown you with it on and this is a black and white one um just their standard box standard t-shirts long sleeves comfortable I got this in a size 12 because I don't really like my t-shirts to be too tight. And uh, that was uh, £8 in a size 12. And that, again, really, really soft. Now, that t-shirt is 100% cotton. So that's going to be quite cool, isn't it? So that was nice. So I got that. I also got these. Now, I can't link them because I got them from an M&S outlet. So you would have to kind of like go into M&S, but I'm sure they've got them in store. And uh, I got mine in a size 12 short. And the pants are 67% polyester, 29% viscose and 4% spandex. They've got an elasticated waist, very very comfortable i have worn them they've got pockets either side they've got a stitched seam down each leg nice and they've got this black black and cream neutrally color that's just a piece of cotton that all the way down the side and they are quite wide legged So, I like them. I love them, in fact. <laughs> I also purchased this black chanel type style cardigan. And this is a Roman. Now, it's got, you know, the fluffy edged, like a row edge, fluffy edge. It's got another fluffy edge piece across here there's no pocket but it looks like it could be a pocket the same across this side same at the bottom but no pocket like it looks like you've got a pocket and again at this side 
Now the bottom isn't raw edge, the bottom's got um, a ribbed edge on it. Long sleeves, very, very lightweight, very, very comfortable, ideal to just put over your shoulders when you really don't. You want something, but you don't want a jacket. So that is black, that one, and that is a Roman size 12. That is made of 80% acrylic, 20% polyamide, which I suppose is polyester, isn't it? Fancy word for polyester. And then the last item is this beauty. This I got from Next, and it's uh, the brand is Friends Like These. I got mine in a size 12 petite because I wanted a short jacket type thing. And it's got um, beautiful gold buttons on. Look, beautiful V-neck. I can wear it as a cardigan. I can wear it as a jacket. I can wear it open with something underneath. And it's got two little false pockets. There, can you see? And one at this side. Long sleeves. A lovely, like a stripy pattern, if you will. Very lightweight. And red. <laughs> little bit of red coming in not too much so I've got myself a red belt and I've got myself a red jacket and a red t-shirt and I think that's probably all I'm going to be getting that's red this year <laughs> I did order some red shoes but uh, they're so uncomfortable it's unbelievable but I will show them to you I think I've left them downstairs so I'll go and get them and then I'll show you the red shoes so this jack this um I'll have, to, I'll have to find out off my thing what, how much this was. It wasn't cheap, but I'll let you know as well how much this was. And this I got from Next. So I'll go and get the red shoes and then I'll be back. I'm back. <laughs> the red cardigan is £40 from Next. Now these are the red shoes and I adore them. But for some reason they sent me a wide fit and now they haven't got a normal fit. So, unfortunately, and they, they do do these in uh, half sizes, so they would have been perfect. Look how nice they are. Sling back. Little heel. Two little bits up the side there. And this cut-out detail at the front. Pointed toe. Forever comfort, so it's padded. But too wide. It gets up near at the side of my foot. There's nothing I can do about that, I don't think. Anyway, I'm sad about that. But aren't they beautiful? But I just thought then, I got my red belt, got my red handbag already, red shoes, red t-shirt, and a red cardigan, and that would be me sorted for this year in red. But not to be. So that's why I opted for nude but I haven't been successful with those either. <laughs> but there, it's one of those things. So now I'll start putting these on and show you what they look like. But first of all, I'll just tell you that this T-shirt, navy blue, and it's one of um, Tesco's, you know, the cheaper ones. They're folded up a little bit like this on a card like that. And they're all five pounds. They have different colours. So that's all this is. A basic Tesco short-sleeved T-shirt. This one. Right, I'll get myself organised and I shall be back. So while I'm getting ready, I hope you'll go and make yourself a coffee, a tea, whatever tickles you fancy. And sit back, relax and watch me um, put these clothes on. Enjoy. So this shoe is the Dune, um, the one that I prefer actually with the, with the strap that goes across your foot and the little heel at the back, see. I absolutely adore these shoes, but they just don't feel comfortable at all. So I'm afraid they're going to have to go back. Then these were the other ones also purchased from Next that were a lot more expensive, uh, leather. Um, no strap across, just a sling back heel. But the reason is, because I've got short legs, um, 
and I'm petite, if, if you've got a shoe that's nude coloured, it makes your leg look longer. It doesn't cut you off the same and makes you look, your legs look a little bit longer. So I'm on the hunt for some. I really, really want some. So those are the shoes. I'll just show you the red ones and then we'll get on to the rest of the stuff. So these are the red ones. But I don't know if you can see, they kind of gape at the side. I can't show you, I don't think. Oops. Can you see that strap? It's not straight up like it should be up there and it's not, it's down there because my foot isn't filling it in. It's too long. There. Anyway, it's unfortunate, but there you go. I really do like those as well. I think they would have gone with a lot of things, but nevertheless, not meant to be. So that's the little red cardigan. I've just put a little white vest top underneath with little strappy um, straps. And I've just got one button fastened. You could fasten them all, wear it as a jacket. It's a little bit too low to wear without anything on underneath. So that's why I changed it to white. And if you can see what my theme was gonna be, I've put the red sh um, shoes on just to show you the whole outfit, which is how I would have worn it. Um, had the shoes been the correct size, but they're not. <laughs> So, and I thought there was enough red with the belt and the cardio and the shoes. So I chose to wear um, a blue handbag. But I think that that little jacket, the, the red shoes, just changes these jeans up no end. And uh, I do have a pair of um, ankle grazers, like um, jersey, linen type ankle grazers that I got from Tesco. Bit like a cigarette pant and uh, i think they would look really nice that would change it up even more because these are just jeans but that's what i'm wearing today just while i do this haul we see but i think they are fabulous those shoes and that little top that little cardigan i'll show you with it fastened with the nice gold buttons You could pull your sleeves up, have your jewellery showing. Yeah, so I'll get, get changed. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> so this is the jumper from um, Tesco, the stripy one, navy blue and cream. I've just given it a French tuck or whatever they call it, where you tuck it in at the front. Put myself a little belt on, put myself some shoes that match the belt, sandals, whatever, wedges, and I think that's a nice outfit. I think that's a nice jumper. Love it. I think it'll go with a lot of things. Yeah, I do. You can imagine this with a nice uh, dressy pair of pants. Or just casual, your jeans or your lounge pants. It's really, really soft and really, really comfortable. So, yeah, I'm quite happy about this one. It's nice. It'll look nice under a jacket, I think. Very nice. Yeah, happy with that one. So that is the stripy jumper. On to the next one. So these are the pants from M&S. With the two pockets, stripes down the front. And this is the t-shirt from uh, Tesco. The long sleeved one. I've just rolled mine up a little bit. Because they were a bit too long for me. But I'm not bothered about that. I've just rolled them up. Tucked it in and just bagged it over a little bit. No way could you wear a belt with these. It, 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 it doesn't require, I don't think. And I've just got me... Um, the trainers on that I bought from Next. 
I've had them ages and ages, so for anybody that's interested, they haven't got them anymore. They are very similar, but they haven't got this particular style anymore. So yeah, I like this outfit. It's casual, but it's smart, I think. A bit seasidey vibes, would you say? <laughs> I'm good. This, these are black stripes, they're not navy blue, so I'm going to try the black Chanel jacket over the top and see what it does. See if it looks okay. I think it will. I think it'll give it an edge, but we'll see. Maybe not. <laughs> Plenty of things I can wear with this jacket. Plenty. Excuse the ticket, I haven't cut it off yet. I'll shove it down there. Shove it in. So, I think that just gives it that casual, but classy edge to it now with that on. That cardigan. Very smart. But equally, that cardigan's going to look nice over a dress, over some smart pants with a nice blouse on, a nice just plain t-shirt. There's lots of options. You can pull your sleeves up, leave your sleeves down. I could leave that down, bring that up so that the stripes are showing. That's a look. Yeah. Nice. Love it. <laughs> so yeah, they're really comfortable, these pants. And these are a short uh, size 12, and I am typically a 12. Yeah, I did try a 10, but they were too tight. So yeah, true to size. Yeah, so that is Roman Tesco M&S. Next, <laughs> a bit of everybody, bits and bobs. Yeah, so I like that. So on to the next one. Onwards and upwards. So I decided just to leave the pants on and the trainers because it, I'm sweating, keep taking things on and off. <laughs> but I've taken my chain off that I normally wear that I got from Next because it was down here and it just didn't look right. So I've just put a plain one on. Uh, but this is the blouse, yeah, and I'm glad that I sized down because it is plenty big enough. I think it would have been too big if I'd have got my own size. So I've just tucked it in and bloused it over, and I think that's really nice. I think it's lovely. I don't know how long these sleeves are. They've only been turned over a couple of times, so they're not going to be down to your wrist. Um, but I'd, I'll wear it like that anyway. So, but this is going to look lovely with a lot of things. For example, my brown leather trousers. Look nice with those, won't it? Black. Lots and lots of different options. I think it'll look nice with these black pleather ones with some boots on. And maybe this jacket. That's a nice outfit. Yes, it's uh, very versatile, I think, this blouse. So I'm really, really pleased that I purchased it. So I'll just get myself organized now and then I'll get back to you because I think I've shown you everything now apart from oh no the dress the dress I'll show you the dress so I've styled this dress up for you and um, just to give you an idea of how I wore it on holiday so if I'm just like potting about during the day I'll just have the dress on and nothing else. But if I'm kind of like staying out and maybe having a meal out before I go back to the hotel, well then, sunglasses. I've got some um, 
sandals on. It's no good me telling you where I got them from because I bought them from Tenerife. But they are nice, very nice strappy sandals. And the split only goes that far. There. And then I just have a sh cotton, lin well, linen, uh, long blouse, long sleeve blouse. I've turned the sleeves up and I would just take it up like that this was from primark but it was last summer so they won't have them in they might have them in again this year a different similar too but certainly not this one and just fasten it there like that and that just keeps you it's just an outfit just changes it up a little bit for us ladies that don't really like to show our arms and that is um, that is this dress from Roman. Very, very nice. Very, very comfortable. And now I just need to be swept away on a holiday. <laughs> so that's that one. Hope you like it. That's the last one now. So thank you. I'll be back to do an outro. So as you can see, I'm dressed a little bit differently because um, it's the day after I did the filming. So I'm just coming on to do the outro now. Um, I've left a little uh, snippet right at the end after this uh, bit where I couldn't get my words out. So I've left it in just because it's a bit of a giggle. It's just a bit of fun. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you stayed until the end. Um, I hope I've given you a few more ideas. I know it was just a small clothing haul, but um, nevertheless, you know, the basic pieces. Um, and where I can, I will link, leave a link below. But like I say, some of the stuff is from Tesco. Some of it is from an outlet, so I can't link that. But where I can link, I will do. Um, other than that, you perhaps you just... if. You might not be able to get exactly the same thing, but it might give you an idea where you find something that's very, very similar. So I'll just give you a little update uh, because I had so many comments on my rant that you've already seen. I did eventually get through to the doctors. I rang one afternoon and I managed to speak to a human being. She was very helpful. She looked at me notes, said, yes, you do need to see... Um, a doctor will not see a doctor speak to a doctor we cannot do a referral until you've been spoken to by the gp and the first available appointment is the 11th of april so that's where i am at the moment um if by any chance i get worried i'll just ring 111 but for the time being i'll just wait i'm not the only person that's poorly and I know that everybody has to be seen in order of priority. So I accept that. And as soon as I've had that GP appointment, telephone consultation, um, I'm assuming that they, he will then tell the girl that does the referrals to do a referral. And then I'll have to wait until I hear from the hospital. So I will keep you updated. But for the moment, I feel absolutely fine. So thank you very much for your advice and thank you for worrying about me. It's very nice to know that there are people out there who, you know, are genuinely concerned. And I know it's the same for everybody. Well, most people. I have been quite surprised that there are one or two people that have said that where they live, their GP is, um, it's not the GP, it's a surgery. Um, they could get an appointment on the same day or at least a phone call. Or if it's really, really busy, no later than the day after and if you are one of those people i would cherish that surgery and i would not move no matter what because it's not the same for the rest of us and it's the same in different countries as well it's not just here i mean our nhs use i'm going i'm, I'm off now set me off <laughs> our nhs used to be the envy of the world not anymore but anyway that's enough now I'm not going to be doing any more ranting because stress doesn't do you any good either. So that being said, thank you for spending some time with me. Precious time, I know it is. I hope you've had a lovely, lovely Easter up to now. 
I think this is going to be going out on Sunday. Um, so I will be doing an Easter egg hunt with the little Ida on Sunday. All the family are getting together and we're organising a little Easter egg hunt for us. So that should be good fun. So I will see you. Fingers crossed. Look after yourself. And ring 111 if you feel poorly. You'll probably get more... Um, more action out of them and um, I look forward to seeing you fingers crossed on the next one so yeah just look after yourself and bye bye for now and thank you bye make yourself a copy oh, copy make yourself a copy oh. <laughs> make yourself